Oh, they talk to us. This dating thing. Different, baby. I'm grateful I'm not 56 and trying. Are you trying to say that? What you trying to say? Bro? I'm you looking right at you. Now, I know you looking at your I ain't I'm backing saying. down. You better take get somebody to love you. Damn, bro. Shannon, will you please come on the 5150 show and smash Darlene? Oh. I want that to happen. Darlene <laughs> need that lick. I know you're going to do a right. I don't even need to go out. We, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Darlene says she don't need to go out. She's serving it up. No. Do we gotta wear rubber? You. Stop, Corey. Oh my you God. You seen that nigga make us game with? You should make him wear rubber. Oh, stop. Yeah, the dookie. Anyway, hey. He need, he need him an old fat gal who can <laughs> bake good cakes, make some smothered turkey wings, who gonna rub his feet at the nighttime. Okay? You don't need no 26 year old girl. You don't need no 36 year old girl. Yo can get you an old <laughs> out there that can love you old. You're trying to hang out with these young bitches and you, you can't do it, Shannon. You just can't do it. Hall of Famer, but you got your rhythm going now. I want you to go for the fourth round. You looking at her like, listen, I need you. You want some money to go to Starbucks? Yeah, because yeah, I can't so go no further. But if you get your older girl, when you get to that fourth round, she's going to say, hold on. Let me go get you some eggs and cheese <laughs> and some toast with apple butter because that's going to get your energy back up. I'm talking right to you. Darlene ready to bust it down. Shoot, I mean, I would. Can she even get enough to show her still fine self on camera. Unlike Darlene, however, there are many women out there that go through their ho-ho slut phase while overlooking every good average Joe, holding out hope for a chance to get their talents in a 1% man like Shannon Sharp. You don't want to be by yourself. Because old do not have options with quality people. What? Old have to salvage through them Christmas nuts that's been stepped on and put back in the can. But an old man with money can get young QB. An right. old with money has to salvage through men. Greetings, your blind savages, and welcome to another Tip Talk. On the last 5150 show with Corey Holcomb and Darlene OG Ortiz, uh, Corey Holcomb kind of exposed Darlene for really having a thing for Shannon Sharp. You see, she was looking at Mr. Sharp and Corey pulled it back and he was just like, man, come on over here and smash on home girl. I mean, basically, and she did not deny she wants him to clap those cheeks. Now, this goes to a greater point because when you have the status and the fame and you keep yourself in shape and you look like Mr. Sharp does, when you have to Three Super Bowl wins. You're an MVP. Uh, I mean, let's keep it a buck. That Cat Williams truck probably backed up in the U-Haul. You have the option to go after women you want. And so, Monique, it's a little delusional to tell this man to get him a old girl, uh, you know, LaRonda from Mississippi, who could make that red velvet cake the way he liked, because he could go on and get anybody he wants to sit in that room and look pretty and have his chef make red velvet cake. Women actually become more attractive as they age. If you're a woman in your mid thirties to forties or fifties, I bet you're actually more desirable as a relationship partner than you ever were in your twenties. What are you comparing that to? Are you making a direct point to point linear parallel comparison between a 25 year old and a 50? Five year old. You see, the truth is, the rules are different once you reach a certain level and a certain level of status. We see it all the time. We see it when Michael Jordan uh, married that younger Brazilian lady on his second marriage. We see it when uh, George Clooney married that pretty model. We see uh, Leonardo DiCaprio always date younger women, and and it, and it happens both ways because Larissa Pippen somehow uh worked that hustle box to snag her michael snag her uh michael jordan son for a while the truth is the truth if you have it you can get it as women age you grow in your self-confidence you grow in your self-awareness you become more dynamic and become more of an asset to any man you're in a relationship with you have your own money and you are not looking for a man to come in and save you. You genuinely want to be with him so that you can build a partnership. That means that you are the prize. If you're over 50 years old, you are done as a sex symbol. Hate it all you want to. It's the damn truth. You can't be 40 years old and a dime. 
And the older and more experience you get with life, the deeper your ability to add to a man's life grows as well. So I want you to stop listening to anyone or anything that's telling you that you're about to age out. I want you to let go of the idea that there's some window of opportunity that's closing for you as you get older. You can be 40 years old and reasonably attractive. You can be 40 years old and not toe the hell down, but you can't be 40 years old and a dime. It's not possible. Because for us to say that would be the same as saying that there's a direct point-to-point -point linear comparison between you at 40 and a female at 20. That's delusion. I'm 38 right now, so for a long-term relationship, I'm looking mainly between the ages of 24 to 35, preferably. If I move up in the tax bracket with more money, then I'm going to give first priority to the 24 and 28-year-old ladies, then the 29 to 33-year-old ladies. But ladies, if, if I can't make more than the average salary for a man, then I'll have to quote, unquote, settle for for what I can attract and get. Just like you ladies say you have to settle, well guess what, we men are settling too. You ladies don't think we want the hottest woman out there on the market, but we do. Busting one on a fine Patrice O'Neill scale 20 to 30s, woman that knows how to move that thing that we aren't attached to is way better than an average chick of the same connection. The key difference, which makes us men different from you ladies, is that women we fall in love with is the exception to the rule. There's no way a 50 year old woman can be a 10. There's no way a woman who's hit that many walls that hard can be a 10 because beauty is associated with youth. With men, there's a consistency and a preference for women in their early 20s across the board. Around the world, different cultures, different religions, different languages, exposed to the media, not exposed to the media, they all prefer the most commonly chosen ages are 20 to 23. For almost every year in his 30s, a man is almost attracted to a 20-year-old woman. And a 50-year-old wants a 20 to 23-year-old. Don't get mad. It's biology. It's evolutionary. It's psychology. It's sociology. But as men get older, they prefer women who are increasingly younger than they are. 35-year-old man might prefer a woman who's in her late 20s or early 30s. 50-year-old man might prefer a woman who's, say, 35 to 38. So the preferences do go up, but the gap gets increasingly larger. Can a 50-year-old woman be a 10? Well, a 50-year-old woman can be a 10 to her husband, subjectively speaking. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But objectively, comparing apple cheeks to peach meat, let's be honest, a 25-year-old woman versus a 50-year-old woman of the same value of all things being equal, Great personality, attitude, and mentality, but when she gets nude and drop the hydraulics on her, dude, it's just not competition at all. Hate to be bearer of bad news, but it is what it is. How dare you? If you get with a man and you stick with him, then he becomes emotionally invested in you. When, yes, you don't have the youth anymore, but you've got the usefulness. That's what we mean when we say ride or die. That means you put in your time. That means that you are something we have invested in. Now that doesn't get old. That doesn't lose its value. I mean, let's look at the prime versions of Angela Bassett, Salma Hayek, Sofia Vergara, and Monica Bellucci compared to the present day 2024 versions of themselves. Look, don't get me wrong, I'd still smash all of them, but compared to their peak selves, it's no contest. Monica Bellucci, a certified 10 in my eyes, a damn near perfect 30 on the Patrice O'Neill scale, still can't beat the ravages of father time. All these ladies are cream of the crop best in show and can still get it. But we have to be honest with ourselves in the objective reality that compared to the younger selves, these ladies now have downgraded in their looks department. No shade, but that's just the truth. The older I get, the more I realize why older men date women that are significantly younger than them. And only because the women their age would never, ever even glance at them twice. Because now there are men my age that try to approach me and I have to actively withhold the urge to spit on them. What? But younger me would have just died over them. And it was for stupid reasons like, oh my God, he's so cool and mature. He has his own apartment. Because one thing is true, you'll watch women twist and tie themselves in all types of knots to justify their younger self getting with an older dude. 
because they they're not gonna call him an old man. They gonna ain't gonna call him grandpa. They gonna call him distinguished. They gonna call him charming. They gonna call that man sophisticated, debonair, suave, elegant, refined. They're gonna say he's handsome, he's mature, he's virile. He should, he's 30. I just thought that was such a sign of maturity and being like a real grown up. But those men were creme de la piss, okay? Like cream of the turds. It's very unimpressive, but I thought that them having like, you know, good jobs was a sign of them being real adults and they were just little immature baby boys. But yeah, those men are almost always losers. Still Translation, I was young and hot and I could get any man that I want. I rode the rooster rocket until the boosters fell off. Overlooking and ignoring suitable good men, but now I'm aged out, approaching the wall because of my attitude and personality with depreciating assets and tainted by trauma, baggage, and mileage. Now I'm throwing a temper tantrum, going on a tirade, shaming, insulting, guilting men because I'm afraid of getting left behind as younger me's passing me up and snagging and shagging all the men I used to do to Dirty D, Spread Eagle 4, and the good men out there that I've ignored. Yep, we got it. Let's do some rough math. When a woman's 18 years at least, up to the 45 year old mark, that's 27 years, 365 days times 27 years of Johnson's of various shapes, colors, and sizes, which comes out to be a total whopping number of 9,855 worth of pipe laid into their plumbing system. Guys with an average income, average looks, and status would be lucky to bed 100 ladies in that same 27 year time span without the aid of working ladies. These weekends insecure men based in all their weaknesses and all their insecurities on strong independent women that's why you're single you know you talk too much I'm single because I don't want to deal with like that I do think I'm all that you know why this house I own it it's in my name it's paid for completely land mine my car mine my kids gifted because of me I own my own company. I wrote a book. I'm working on my second. The construction on my house, I've been doing that. I'm not bashing any old man. I'm just not an old man. I'm 43. I'm not a man in his late 60s, early 70s. I'm not. That's why y'all be trying to get us when we're young. So we don't grow up to, so, and we don't have self-esteem and self-worth. You got all that worth and you got all that value. They coming for it to take it from you. <laughs> they coming to take it from you, sis these men and your insecurities and your fucking weakness don't nobody give a shit about that we've not been trained we've not been conditioned to understand you we've been trained to fight against you right we've been trained to go against you we've watched our mamas our grandmamas our aunties speak ill of a black man mm -hmm. so now when a black man comes and he good you waiting for the bad because grandmama told you black men one shit. mama told you black one one shit. your auntie said black men ain't shit. So all you have in your mind is black man ain't shit. So when you get that beautiful black man, he's now got to say to you, erase everything they taught you. Right. Because I'm here. Or you then you treat him like that. And then he goes and then you talk about- Now you're mad because he didn't want you the white girl, Shannon. <laughs> Grover prior to this had educated me about the struggle that American black men and black women are having in their relationships because I was confused as an outsider why black men and black women were fighting so much. Now I understand and I can empathize with the situation because my bros, my polite savages, the other race of western modern women out there are not far behind. Men suck at dating apps. Everyone on Tinder is like the ugliest species I've ever seen. Dude, are you on Tinder here? Yes. <laughs> it's disgusting. I think a man should fear more than a woman who's comfortable being alone. You are now competing with me. I am good being alone. I am fine. So you have to be better than me. You have to make it so that I want to be with you instead of being with me. How are you going to do that? It seems like men are used to dating the dainty and the delicate. And I used to be delicate. Hell, I smelled like roses and sunshine shone out my ass. I was a damn delight, okay? But now, I'm a little less delicate and I'm a little more loud. And my standards are higher, okay? They're, the bar is no longer flush to the floor. And there is a group of men who do not like it. They do not like it because they would prefer the pushover. I would rather be single and smell like Tom Ford than be a welcome mat to a man in my relationship. Would you say whole phases are necessary? Yes. Very much. In the same way guys, so do girls. Why 
Is there a difference? Whole phases are very much necessary to understand what you like and what you don't like. Yeah, you don't discover what you like until freaking Chad or Brad or freaking Justin does it and you're like, ah, or maybe Tracy, I don't know. But you're like, that's it. And then you're like, oh, cool, 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 cool. I like that, I didn't know I'd like it. And that's only scratching the surface. Damn. Yet, ladies, hella hard to fall in love with y'all when you adopt this modern woman ideology and masculine tendencies and proclivities. But let him be on the opposite end of the spectrum of attraction. Let him not have leverage when he walks up and talks to him. Let him not have that paper like the first guy had. Let him not have the status the first guy had. Oh, he's going to be called plain. They're going to call him unkept, grizzled, weathered, rough. They're going to call him haggard. They're going to call that man bland or basic unpolished and worn out you see one thing is true when you see an older woman hating on men her age who are dating maybe women 10 15 20 years younger it's not really about that she thinks it's wrong or she thinks it's manipulative it's really about she's upset because she can't be in that situation herself you dig it is what it is nothing in the world irritates me more than a guy who I used to deal with like back in the day and he tries to like reinvent himself in my present but he's trying to come through on like the free sneak tip hey boy this coochie is aged okay this has been upgraded this is no longer like the Applebee's 2 for 20 with a fifth of Hennessy on the side type of coochie only thing really making baby girl wet is uh you know rent payments and stuff so this right here honey is shooting out glitter and gold okay there comes a point in time when the young lionesses force out the old you think if you're gonna sit there just for 20 or 30 years and then a man's just gonna be sitting around men should respect you sitting up here going through a whole phase for 30 years and that when you get ready that the men should all be perfect gentlemen sitting on the wall waiting for you to get done getting run through and laid on and worn out and that when you finally lost all of your allure and lost all of your leverage then the men are supposed to exercise chivalry and just take you off the market as a damn charity case there are men waiting to do that but it won't be any of the men that you actually want to be with no doubt all these women here are fine as a mother Forgive me and much respect that these ladies shown here have husbands, but I would put in that work, ramrod and beatbox the kid until all nine lives run out. Just absolutely murder it, where all they'll find is a hip replacement, silicones, fillers, and fake teeth left at the crime scene. These beautiful older women here are probably better than a good majority of 20 and 30 year olds out there. They stay in shape, staying fit, keep up their skin care routine, and or have light cosmetic surgery. And so they are still on top of the ranks with other women. But in comparison to the prime peak versions of themselves and against above average eights or pre treat nail scale 20 through 30, they will lose most of the time. It's just the harsh reality, ladies. Just like it's the harsh reality for men that without status, money, and power, and at least average looks will be at the bottom of the pyramid in the modern day dating market. Bottom line, ladies. You have a million dollars worth of options up front to find you a good husband while you still have your youth. Don't squander it. Because men that have attained, achieved, and unlocked unlimited options will not be coming running to save you. You may end up being a side chick if you luckily can get yourself one. There's the brutal reality that females in this era of contrived luxury and convenience that we've made have to accept. Just because you are biologically wired and socially and physically in need of a competent, valuable protector and provider, that doesn't mean you actually qualify for one. And that means there will be some suffering to go along with it and that will be the story of your life. You know what, some people's lives are comedies, some people's lives are triumphs, other people's lives are tragedies. But you probably played a major role in how you ended up here. That's all I got for you, you polite savages. Like and subscribe, hit us up on all social media networks, and as always, ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? We're out. <laughs> we found true happiness.